Hey everyone, Gerald Dozier here. This week we're talking AI upskilling for cybersecurity practitioners. I'm joined by Kirsty Payne, Field CTO and Strategic Advisor at Splunk. Let's dive in. Kirsty, what AI skills should every cybersecurity professional learn in the next six months and why? Prompt engineering is so 2023. I think that's like learning the alphabet. So I'm going to say in 2025, you should really be more in the R&D phase, working out where and how AI actually fits in your workflows. And model literacy is the name of the game. So you're not just asking for scripts anymore from your favorite LLM. Instead, it's more like testing models, shaping data, building out real use cases. And that's what real model literacy looks like. You're kind of understanding how the thing reasons and not just how to talk to it. How has AI changed the way you approach threat hunting or incident response in the last year? For me, this boils down to two words, really, volume and velocity. And the amount of tickets, the alerts, the things I can review, and the depth of each investigation has really what shifted for me. It's just, it's on another level. Like AI is the new enrichment, in my opinion. So it's pulling in all this context, it's summarizing data, flagging anomalies, and it's all before you even look at anything. And so the human is still in charge, but this is what we mean when we talk about machine speed, volume and velocity, it's incredible. Well, you know, what's one way that you're seeing that AI is making cyber pros more effective that people aren't really talking enough about? So for me, this is all about junior analysts. Junior analysts now come in AI enabled. So if we just think about that, they kind of come in at level 1.5 now. They've got instant access to that expertise, to the corporate knowledge, to playbooks and to context. And so I kind of want a position that we should be creating level four roles in the SOC because of this, you know, level up, the way that the whole SOC maturity curve is going up. It's going up faster than any training could make us do. And it's a strategic leap forward for those who are model literate. They're integrating AI into workflows. They're working really intelligently. Maybe they need to be our level four SOC analysts. So if you're a SOC analyst watching this right now, what's an AI tool or technique that they should start experimenting with today? Maybe it's kind of basic for some of your listeners, um, but if you're not already using AI assistants, start. Start today, start yesterday, because they're the new content enrichment layer. They sit between your tools and your brain, and the faster you can learn an assistant to help you triage, to help you summarize, to help you correlate, and just to do this boring stuff that you don't want to do, like writing your instant reports, then the faster you move up the skill ladder. Because in truth, it's the analyst that's using AI, leveraging it to its full capacity. They will beat the one who ignores it every single time. Kirsty, thanks for those insights. For everyone watching, pick one thing from today. Start experimenting with it this week. Become a SOC Analyst 1.5 immediately. Thank you to Kirsty and Cisco for partnering with us on this series. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.